birthday, Aries. Your Saturday, the 28th of January, 2023. Your tarot cards reading by M. So, Saturday with the Two of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. Lovely Saturday. Um, with the Six of Wands, you're influencing energy. Some kind of... Um, the sort of resolution with always six brings some sort of resolution and this is problem solved okay you won it is in your favor definitely with six of wands you are winning you are on your tall horse you are promoted you are recognized you are the one so winning energy influencing you here or something you manage somehow successfully to get over to win over to succeed with something and uh, perhaps it's important now on Saturday for you with this Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, there's something new on your mind. You do see, finally you do see opportunity to change your life, your career, your job. You see what I'm saying? Ace of Pentacles says something will be different on the ground. Gate is open here with the Two of Wands and Ace of Pentacles as well does have proposal, okay? Would you like to? An opportunity is great. Could be that is um, somebody is bringing it towards you, proposing to you. Would you like to travel so and so to do this and this job, this project? You see what I'm saying? Something which is supposed to make big difference in your life. This is not small change that we are talking about. This is possibility, okay? For big difference. Something supposed to make big difference in your life. Could be, as I said, that proposal comes from another now here on Saturday. Or you were making it and you're making this opportunity for yourself. You haven't decided yet. With both of these energies, you're supposed to decide and say, okay, I am going now for it. Yes, I will do it. Yes, I'm going for it. Yes, I'll travel. You see what I'm saying? You're supposed to agree. You're supposed to say yes with both of these energies. And on this day, you don't have answer. You just have opportunity presented to you. Beautiful Saturday. Enjoy it. Hi, Taurus. Your Saturday, the 28th of... January 2023, your tarot cards reading by M, and there is the star and the king of pentacles influenced by seven of cups. Look, seven of cups, lots to dream about, okay? Plenty options, plenty ideas, lots on, on, on your mind, your dreams, your fantasies. You see what I'm saying? That kind of energy is influencing you here. And with the star is, again, about your dreams, about your hopes, about something which you will like, options which you are having, okay, in your life right now at this point. You see what I'm saying? Some opportunities are opening up for you. Fantastic. You see what I'm saying? Still just opportunities opportunities, still just options, still all in your mind, okay, it's not something that you can bring on the ground, you do have your energy though, King of Pentacles is you, alright, you will begin to select perhaps on this day, um, because this energy is very solid, you are looking for something which you can ground, which will stay, which will uh, be permanent, something which you can make permanent and solid, in that sense, this King of Pentacles perhaps begins to single out this option, this opportunity, this business, this something, okay, which you can bring on the ground, which you can make grow, which will stay in your life in that sense. But most of the time, from earlier on into this day, is about your dreams, about your hopes. And even, you know, if you are choosing something end of the day, it will be still something you really love, you really wished for, you dreamed of. You are making it real this time. You did, as I said, single out that most doable option, the best option, but still is something which you wished for. Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely day for you, Taurus. Enjoy it. Hi, Gemini. Your Saturday, the 28th of January, 2023, and there is Queen of Wands, the Magician, and Ace of Wands. It's all about your future, some idea that you have, some beautiful idea, something exciting, something you really like, like this one, oh, this one will change my life. 
Queen of Wands is very exciting energy. You might be having some of your best friends around, you know, supporting your ideas, planning the future. You can do it this way and that way. And the next month, the next week, you see what I'm saying? Lovely, lovely energy. Queen of Wands is exciting energy, very fiery. Want to do it and knows how to and very brave, no fear. I kind of feel it's you, okay, that it wasn't about your friends. You do have idea, okay, from earlier on what you gonna do now what and that's is something which you will create will stay from now on you are beginning with it on this day this was just idea earlier on i will do it in this certain way and this is very prosperous and i like it and i love it you see what i'm saying ace of wands is that i will i love it i can't wait to do it in that sense but now magician holds that very wound in his hand, okay? It says you were onto this idea, you are having it, you are seriously planning. This is very brave, this is very certain energy. With these two, there is nothing in this world that you cannot make. You see what I'm saying? Whatever that your idea is, Gemini, this is beautiful energy, this is brave, fearless. That what's on my mind. That what is going to be out there. It's literally like that. You know, I can move the mountain if I want to. <laughs> Lovely, strong energy. Very willful energy. You can create. You can make. What's on your mind, you can do. In that sense, this day, enjoy it. Hi, Cancer. Your Saturday, the 28th of January 2023, your tarot cards are reading by M. And there is for you King of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups, influenced by the Hierophant. Look, the Hierophant is a rather intelligent energy, a very grounded energy as well, um, often very faithful, always believing in something. Um, often brings some sort of delays, okay? I know it will happen, but in July next year, you see what I'm saying? Knowing that things will happen, be patient, believe in it, stay with that, and it will happen. In that sense, is this energy, believe in it, it will. And that's what influencing you uh, on this day. There is the Nine of Cups, your wish card. It seems to me you are after some, some big goal. This is big wish of yours, something to have something to achieve, maybe related to your business, maybe related to your career. You strongly believed in it. You didn't give up. You pushed for it and you pushed and you stayed by it and you stayed. And finally, you've got it on this day. You see what I'm saying? You, it took perhaps lots of effort. This is, this is very grounded energy. Believe in yourself. Believe in your future. Believe in God. Believe in something. In, in this project, in your abilities. Believe in it and you will have it. And on this day, King of Pentacles is having it. Something which will stay. This is something very solid. We, you know, we can talk business, we can talk money, we can talk career, okay? We can talk something very solid which will stay with you. You grounded, you rooted it already and you wanted it. This is your wish card. You wished for this and you are having it. Something you have in your hands. This is very material, okay? Uh, Nine of Cups often is, in fact, something very material. We are wishing for this amount of money, for this home to buy for this something for the home you see what I'm saying for this furniture for this kitchen you see what I'm saying you wished for something to have and you were having it just as you wished this car or this suit or this dress or your home or something for your home you got it on this day enjoy it hi Leo your Saturday the 28th of January 2023, your tarot cards are read by M, and there is a Four of Swords, Nine of Wands, for you, Leo, for Saturday, influenced by the lovers. The lovers' energy is lovely. There is your, I don't know, some options you do have in front of yourself, some opportunities, some lovely opportunities. Lovers always brings... Um, Something which is on another level, on higher level. Okay, this is, yes, it is choice, but you could make mistake. This is two really good opportunities. Could mean something like that. Could mean that you are falling in love with another. Anyhow, this is energy of love. 
something which is happening, opportunity which you have, a business, career, partnership, love, relationship with love, with passion, that sort of energy you do have from early on. But now it seems to me four of swords with nine of wands here on Saturday will bring you um, kind of to the situation where you know things are a little bit shady okay you don't know if that what you have done is really done or you should still do something around it uh, do you, is is your knowledge your your that diploma that which you have is that enough or should you add something to it nine of wands always requires extra effort and you don't know what to do with that how to you see what i'm saying four of swords is a quiet energy uncertain energy doesn't have clarity look it's possible positive in a way because you will have clarity and it will be something very truthful you will understand everything that is happening around but not on this day perhaps you do feel tired and it's still something to do could be that four of swords just brought you in the bed or you just want to be by yourself to recharge your batteries to to recuperate or something um, definitely you need to be by yourself you don't feel like action there's no action here you are simply not able to stand up and do anything but there is a lot that requires attention you see what i'm saying you have to learn you have to do you have to complete you have to redo this one says you must stand up you have to do it and perhaps end of the day later in the afternoon you will stand up okay you will go and do it whatever it is something to redo in fact you thought it's done completely but now you have to come back because now it's faulty it's not good it's not done well you have to redo it you see what i'm saying a bit um I don't know, tough, a really toughy, you know, day for you. You were not up to it. You didn't want to do any of it, but it will appear that you have to end the day. This is must. You're going to lose a lot if you don't do it on this day. And you tried not to. Okay, so I cannot. I'm not going to move. I, I don't have time. I don't have energy. I don't have power. But then you will have to... In that sense, this day is something you have to and you cannot avoid it. It's Saturday and I understand it might cause some sort of frustrations. Nine of Wands always cause that frustration. Must I really do it now, this thing? In that sense. But yeah, try to enjoy your day. Hi Virgo, your Saturday. The 28th of January 2023. Your tarot cards reading by M. So Virgo. Now we have the Emperor and the King of Wands. Oh, um, Eight of Pentacles. Look, Eight of Pentacles is your work, your skill, your mastery, something where you very successful. You are doing it routinely. Boil your head down and you are one after another. You are producing, you are doing, you are efficient, diligent. In that sense, Eight of Pentacles stands influencing this energy and perhaps that sort of Virgo somebody saw today, okay? This, this is Emperor, King of Wands. This is very friendly energy. Somebody, some people of authority are very friendly towards you here on Saturday. Maybe boss organized lunch, okay, for all of you employees. And you are recognized here as a hardworking person, somebody who is very valuable in the company. Could be something like that on this day. Could be that you do have your father with you, okay, a Virgo. Uh, with this emperor again a very positive energy very friendly energy these two together they are going very well together these are serious plans for your future perhaps maybe this energy is just yours okay very strong energies okay planning your future with these skills of yours with this profession of yours you see what i'm saying there is a, something very practical something which you know how okay um, which you count on and you are planning to maybe change complete structure in the way you do your business okay these two can maybe suggest something like that here on saturday these are still plans okay but everything is doable these plans if it's to change your business to change your career from a monday you already sending your cvs you're already going to apply for i don't know a license to have your own business you see what i'm saying this is something which you will do 
there is no, you know, thinking about it. No, on this day you're not thinking about it. You are planning how to. That's it. This is so confident. This is ready to. In that sense, energy, whether that comes from, from another, it is, as I said, very friendly. You are recognized for your values, for your qualities, for your skills in your profession, in your work, okay? Or you were, you know, planning something regarding your profession, your work, okay? Big plans you do have a which you will begin to implement perhaps straight from Monday. Enjoy it. Hi Libra, your Saturday, the 28th of January 2023, your tarot cards are reading by M. And there is two of pentacles, five of cups, influenced by Knight of Swords. Look, Knight brought some sort of change and change came rapidly and drastically and suddenly. You see what I'm saying? This this is something you couldn't foresee. Knight of Swords comes suddenly and, and so fast that all concentration, all focus is, that, is on that one point, one thing which is most important and has to be done and acknowledged now and immediately. You see what I'm saying? You don't have a Around possibility to see circumstances, other people, what is besides this energy, what else out there you just couldn't see. In that sense, perhaps you did have something that just throw you off your balance. Suddenly, drastically, rapidly, change has come. You didn't expect this change. And now you're definitely in dilemma what to do with this. Okay, now should I do this or should I do another thing? Something maybe from your past, still present, you thought that you dealt with that you are going after something new new money making new business new skills new life new situation but something from the past still lingering around that what you will notice on this day still is there unresolved and, and two of pentacles is definitely energy that needs decision but you will not make decision because it's not up to you libra to make this decision you are waiting for these things I don't know to die down, to dissipate. You see what I'm saying? You might be slightly nervous on this day, you know, because something is still there. You thought it's out. It's not going to be there. This situation suddenly appears. Oh, I'm still here. And you don't like it. Okay, this is very disappointing for you. Uh, this five of cups, perhaps energy reminds you of something from the past, something which repeats itself, some, some failure. You are scared now. Um, it's not going to affect you much, okay? This two of pentacles is energy that is not long-lasting, okay? It's just for you to buy yourself some time. Don't, don't get absorbed in the things which are definitely outgoing. You cannot push it and kick it to get out quickly. It is there as long as it is there. What you can do is to be patient. Give it some time. Buy yourself some time. Just now, just now, it will, it will go away. Okay? Don't try to push it. Don't try to fight it. You can, in fact, negatively affect that what you are after, that new that you are after. Just let it be both. Same time, it's fine, it's not pleasant, it's uncomfortable, it's uh, ridiculous, okay? Just give it some time, it will go away, it will settle down soon, this doesn't last long. So enjoy your day. Hi Scorpio, your Saturday, the 28th of January 2023, your tarot cards are reading by M. And there is Eight of Swords, Three of Cups and nine of pentacles oh it seems you're gonna free yourself from some some sort of obligations some difficulties some restrictions okay you did have this sticky situation for quite some time you wished for yourself you wish to free yourself, to, you know, to say no, to, I'm not doing this for you anymore, I, I want to resign from this job, I'm going to leave this place. You see what I'm saying? There was uh, some sticky situations, some obligations, uh, something around you which you didn't know what to do with, okay? There was no visibility for you and you were wishing, you know, for yourself to be free, to have something else, to see something else on the horizon, something else for yourself just not this and I really believe on this day you will celebrate just this opportunity for you to free yourself I think on this day you will you will have that opportunity to free yourself you will see it clearly now when this comes up 
this sticky situation will come up for you to break it down, to change it. And you will celebrate with your friends, with somebody you will say to them, I will get rid of this from tomorrow, from Monday. You see what I'm saying? You are getting rid of this. Something is known to you now and your wish will be fulfilled, okay? Finally, you'll be free. Enjoy it. Hi, Sagittarius. Your Saturday, the 28th of January 2023, your tarot cards are written by M. And there is King of Swords with a Six of Swords, influenced by Three of Cups. Look, Three of Cups talks about, I don't know, people around you, your friends, your uh, colleagues, your... Um, maybe siblings as well, happy energy, okay, we are together, this is togetherness, we are happy together, we are team, in that sense, your three of cups, happy celebration, it's not much that you celebrated, it's, it wasn't much to say that you've got, that you achieved, but it is something little bit good enough for, for three of you to get together and have a good time, that kind of energy is influencing you, now king of swords with six of of sorts says the sort of decision about this friendship is made maybe you did have problem okay some difficulties some conflict among you people okay three of you four of you this lovely friendship okay perhaps I did have some sort of problem earlier on six of swords is going out of this turbulent water so something was a bit rough out there it is behind you all right you people made agreement you opened up talked Clearly, this is clear communication, okay, very factual, very logical, what was said, who said what, um, why, who behave in this certain way and why, who's guilty here, why this conflict, everything is in clear here, King of Swords is very factual, logical energy, there's no lies in here, there is that, what it is, it's visible, it's known, it's for you people just to get over it today, to discuss it and say, to each other we're not gonna do it again we will move towards something happier something better you will make agreement of some sort look six of swords isn't happy energy okay but gets a bit easier i really believe you people will have constructive okay conversation here all right king of swords is not emotional it's very cold so i really believe they will be very factual Kind of conversation very clear very open conversation everybody will say that what truth of the matter is you see what i'm saying and that will ease up tension a little bit it's not that you're going to be back to your happy self best buddies but it's gonna a uh, situation will begin to ease up it, it's not gonna be as stressful as it was but serious conversation people you will have on this day anyway enjoy it Hi Capricorn, your Saturday, the 28th of January 2023, your tarot cards are written by M, and there is a Three of Swords, and then King of Cups, influenced by Ace of Swords. Oh, Ace of Swords is your clarity. Definitely you have decided to maybe detach yourself from somebody because there is some sort of offense, some something, some disappointment. It's not something which lasts long, okay? But you will definitely be very sharp about that, okay? Maybe Scorpio, maybe Cancer, maybe Pisces, person out there uh, disappointed you, you counted on this person, didn't come with goods, okay? This person is not your friend on this day, definitely. Definitely. Maybe you realize that this person wasn't your friend earlier on and on this day you will bring it up and you will say never again. I will never have you in my life ever again. You disappointed me. You did hurt me. In that sense, perhaps on this day and as I said, could very well be some water sign. But that what you have decided that how it's going to be. You will have very clear mind. It's not something that you presume. It's not something which is based on gossip. This is something which you know. This person really offended you, really did something against you. And you will bring it up. You will say it. Never again. You won't allow it. Anyway, um, Capricorn, try to enjoy your day. Hey Aquarius, your Saturday, the 28th of January 2023, your tarot cards are reading by M, and there is a Nine of Wands with a Queen of Cups. 
influenced by Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful Ace of Pentacles, we love this Ace. It is proposal of some sort, okay? Um, let's do business, let's uh, um, get married, let's move in together, something which will manifest, okay? This is proposal, but still with Ace of Pentacles, you always supposed to say, yes, I will take this opportunity, I will go for it, you see what I'm saying? But this sort of proposal, opportunity stood from earlier on, but seems to me, you've got a difficulties to make decision on this day, something is very difficult for you with this nine of wands, something you have to prove, something you have to stand for, you see what I'm saying, it's not easy on you, nine of wands always requires extra effort, maybe this ace of pentacles is your job offer, maybe something which is supposed to bring you money, but before you go for it, you have to prove that you have qualifications, you have to prove that you have knowledge, that you are capable of creating this, to make this, to manifest, manifest with this, it is prosperous, it is lovely, you see what I'm saying, talks abundance out there, but you have to prove first that you can. Now, Nine of Wands is also something outstanding, this, you must must finish before you move on with something new. Could also be something like that. Look, first complete this, that what you have started. Okay, this is going to be big loss if you don't complete, if you don't finish. You see what I'm saying? You have to finish it. And then, of course, you can go and do something else, something new. Could very well be that the two are connected. You cannot do this lovely, new, prosperous thing without completing these old and tiring things could be that is very much interconnected and you will look with nine of wands doesn't matter what um, whether that you need to prove yourself you will uh, whether that you need to complete something you will if you need to even redo things you know from the beginning you will whatever that is required from you on this day you will Okay, you will be end of the day, as day progressing, you will be um, more and more satisfied with yourself. You will be happy that you have completed, you've done it. It did require extra effort, okay? You didn't like to do this, not a single bit. You see what I'm saying? Nine of Wands is wounded warrior, okay? Sick and tired of fighting and doing the same old, same old, all over, all over again. And it was perhaps the very same thing for you as well. You see what I'm saying? But end of the day, Aquarius, you will be happy that you have done it. It's out of your way once for all and you can finally concentrate on this new, prosperous and lovely. Enjoy it, Aquarius. Hi, Pisces. Your Saturday, the 28th of January 2023, your tarot cards, reading by M, and there is King of Swords, all right, with the Knight of Cups, influenced by Knight of Pentacles. Could be that you do have people around you on this day. This is your energy, Knight of Cups is you. Um, a Pisces, the happy self, optimistic self, artistic self, very pleased with that, what you know with that, what happens on this day, with this decision which you are having. Now, look, King of Swords could be somebody, some person of authority, maybe your father, maybe Libra person, Aquarius or, or Gemini, you see what I'm saying, could be some lawyer, could be something official, okay, that is acknowledged on this day. Do it Saturday, all right? But anyhow, you do have decision. You do have some very concrete knowledge. Maybe you needed somebody to tell you to do for you something very concrete, okay? You needed somebody who knows how to make... Um, websites, okay, how to make YouTube channel, you see what I'm saying, and there is person, there is person helping you to do that, off to go, very happy Pisces person, you see what I'm saying, could be something like that, could be that you, you are actually um, doing something, okay, on this day, which is very intellectual, which is uh, requires very specific knowledge, you will engage, you will grasp, you will learn, and you'll be happy with yourself, that is a in fact, something which opens up this 
this optimism within you. You see what I'm saying? I'm yeah, I'm marching towards happier times. I will celebrate. I'll have a drink with buddies. But things are done. This is very serious energy. Knowledgeable one brings clarity in that sense. Knight of Pentacles did influence you. Maybe something related to current project. Something which began to happen slowly but surely. Okay, you knew you were supposed to grasp this. You were supposed to complete this. You perhaps needed extra knowledge. Somebody was there to teach you, to explain it to you. And yeah, you will celebrate in the afternoon um, you'll have some sort of free time happy time for yourself end of the day enjoy it Pisces